I think the key lessons are making sure that you, well, making sure you have help pages. You know, one of the things is if, if a faculty's answer is we'll introduce it to every student at the beginning of their course, the student will not remember all the various features of it. They will not necessarily recognise what happens when it gets updated. So this need to have help pages so that students can go back to it, they can make more use of it another time. So I think the fact that you have to see that the student, it's the student's product, therefore the student has to have instructions how to use it. It's one of the main things we've learned from it. I think I've already discussed that managing your technology is the really main thing that we've learned of it. From the point of view of, of adoption, I think you cannot put on enough short courses in nice, um, comfortable teaching rooms for people that you can't go out and um, do too many talks to faculties you know, and, and promote its use. I think, I think you can create beautiful products in the university and because people do not always connect up to the centre, they don't realise it's there. So it's important that it is sold through, you know, general sign-up courses that people can have to use new learning technology because that's, that's one of the easiest ways that it gets put in front of people regularly. But I think the fact that it sits along the top of the, of the virtual learning environment is also quite a big hint to people that it exists. I think the point at which I know it really has got there is when it starts to appear in unit reports on a regular basis, when you, you see members of staff talking about its use in their courses in annual monitoring. I think those are the points where you see it's become part of the norm rather than part of the push, if I put it that way. I'd expect to see... I'd expect to see it as part of members of staff own CPD. You know, I'd like to see you know, good, can, good take up from members of staff. And, and really, I think we can count the student numbers and we can look at the student numbers against the percentage of those that we have overall. And what you want to see in five years' time that it's gradually increased and it hasn't gone down, you know, to be realistic. And as I said before, I would like to see evidence that there's thoughtful use of it in all courses that are being designed. I, I really would expect it... It's, it's required now, but I, I would have hoped we've got beyond the point of it's required. I would have hoped it's got to the point that it's simply an accepted, it's another, it's another tool in the virtual learning environment.